Morning. Awesome, thank you. Today we're going over to Metlakatla. All of my favorite, favorite people live in Metlakatla, Alaska. It's just an island hop away from Ketchikan. So uh, in an airplane, about 10 minutes, we enjoy the ferry because we're going over for work. We got all of our equipment, our cameras, our lighting gear all packed up to do a photo shoot today. Um, so on the ferry, we're gonna be on for about 45 minutes. So 45 minute ferry ride, raining pretty good still, but that's okay. We're actually shooting all interior shots today. Um, some staff portraits, it's gonna look amazing. Also eat lunch. It's Bobby. breakfast time. No, it's not, it's 11.30. What? Yeah. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> what happens when it's a travel day, day just goes by. By the time we get there and get set up, it'll probably be one. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. I got nothing to say, YouTube. We're here. This is what it's like living and working in Southeast Alaska, hopping around island to island. And you can see Catch Can in our rear view. We're still zoomed in at 70 millimeters. Why'd you gotta do that? I had a good take. Oh. <sighs> you can... Behind me, catch a can is right back that way. In between those, uh, that little, the two islands right there. And uh, that's the way we actually came and we crossed over right into here. We came into a net bay. So as like Spring said, <clears throat> we're over here for the night because the way the ferry runs, we can't just stay for an a little bit and then catch the ferry back over we have to actually stay for the evening it's a little bit of a of a, a chore when we have to travel in which out of the eight years we've been running the business we've done a lot of travel i thought it'd be cool one day to kind of sit down and do a talking head of some of our southeast alaska travel experiences well we have not. like nine bags of equipment <laughs> the ferry's like no we're on strike you're gonna yeah. get left in juno i mean we've dealt with some hairy situations yeah. I wanted to introduce you to voiceover Jeremy. In this video, you can see we spent time traveling over to Metlakatla, and also during our trip over to Metlakatla, I was finally able to pick up a piece that I had commissioned from my friend Joey Bolton. This symbolized our friendship with Metlakatla, and also my friendship with Dave Nelson, who I've known for over 20 years. In this next segment, you can listen to Joey tell the story of this drum, and then out of respect for our friendship, I asked Dave to play the first song on this drum that was made for me. I hope you enjoy this art and the story behind it. Also, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to our channel as we try and bring you content we enjoy and hopefully other content that adds value to you. For now, let's listen to Joey talk about this drum he created. So this is Purple Mountain and the waves coming down. Uh, when we first wanted to come here to live, uh, they wanted to make sure we had a good source of fresh water. And then this is the devil fish, the giant devil fish that used to live out by Twin Sisters. And they, the story goes that when the Clinket people lived here, the devil fish would come up and grab their children and it would grab their canoes and steal the fish out of their canoes. And then one day, uh, the Simpson people decided to live here and the Clinket people kept bugging us and teasing us, how's that devil fish treating you? And one of our old, one of our old fishermen says, doesn't bother us anymore because we ate it. 
And then this here is your wonderful friend Tim Lennon. With this is their part of their Adelk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part of their crest. Mm 